We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Impatient? Try levitating. June 10th, we reacted more strongly to frustrations than normal people. As Bill sees it, page 111. Impatience with others is one of my principal failings. Following a slow car in a no-passing lane or waiting in a restaurant for the check drives me to distraction. Before I give God a chance to slow me down, I explode. And that's what I call being quicker than God. That repeated experience gave me an idea. I thought if I could look down on these events from God's point of view, I might better control my feelings and behavior. I tried it, and when I encountered the next slow driver, I levitated and looked down on the other car and upon myself. I saw an elderly couple driving along, happily chatting about their grandchildren. They were followed by me, bug-eyed and red of face, who had no time schedule to meet anyway. I looked so silly that I dropped back into reality and slowed down. Seeing things from God's angle of vision can be very relaxing. By reliving these episodes and discussing them in strict confidence with somebody else, we can reduce their size and therefore their potency in the subconscious. Carl Jung said, Until we make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. While the purpose of making restitution to others is paramount, it is equally necessary that we extricate from an examination of our personal relations with every bit of information about ourselves and our fundamental difficulties that we can. Since defective relations with other human beings have nearly always been the immediate cause of our woes, including our alcoholism, no field of investigation could yield more satisfying and valuable rewards than this one. Calm, thoughtful reflection upon personal relations can deepen our insight. We can go far beyond those things which were superficially wrong with us to see those flaws which were basic flaws which sometimes were responsible for the whole pattern of our lives. Thoroughness we have found will pay, and pay handsomely. The success of the program is to have a spiritual awakening and to get us sober. We live in the unconscious. Some call it the subconscious. It is the same thing for our purposes. God has always been there. We blocked him out when we were active alcoholics living in self-will. We took everything personally. It was all about us. It wasn't about us, but our inflated egos made it all about us. Working the steps with our sponsors, we learned that nobody was thinking about us. Even when somebody did do something wrong, it was not about us. We just happened to be in front of them when they did that wrong thing. They stole from us because we were in a position to be stolen from, and they are thieves, so they stole from us. They steal from whoever they can. It isn't about us. It explains our need for control, our perceived need. In reality, we don't need it at all. All we need is our higher power, and all will be right with the world. We need to feel his presence, to have real faith that he is here with us, and will do for us which we cannot do for ourselves. Constant contact with our higher power, doing his will, is the goal daily. Driving for that goal is what makes our lives wonderful and worth living. Today we are others-centered when we align our wills with our higher power's will. We made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends for them all. Listing people was easy. We believed we hurt everyone. The difficult part was admitting the harm we did. That is our real issue. What exactly did we do? 
It shows our lack of character that we drank to forget. With our progress in the steps and our higher power now present, we humbly trudged on and wrote it all out. The truth and nothing but the truth. Like our inventory, we knew anything we left out would drive us to drink. And to drink is to die. Impatient? Try levitating. June 10th, we reacted more strongly to frustrations than normal people. As Bill sees it, page 111. Impatience with others is one of my principal failings. Following a slow car in a no-passing lane or waiting in a restaurant for the check drives me to distraction. Before I give God a chance to slow me down, I explode. And that's what I call being quicker than God. That repeated experience gave me an idea. I thought if I could look down on these events from God's point of view, I might better control my feelings and behavior. I tried it, and when I encountered the next slow driver, I levitated and looked down on the other car and upon myself. I saw an elderly couple driving along, happily chatting about their grandchildren. They were followed by me, bug-eyed and red of face, who had no time schedule to meet anyway. I looked so silly that I dropped back into reality and slowed down. Seeing things from God's angle of vision can be very relaxing. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.